Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about a plugin named Flag Counter. Um, so, uh, as it is, you may not really see like it's a great plugin, I would say, but um, I think it's interesting because it fits one needs that a uh, website had in the past, at the beginning of the web, and as well it opens and shows uh, lots of possibilities. So as uh, the previous plugin that I showed named Classic Counter. So uh, what does uh, Flag Counter do? Uh, Flag Counter is a plugin which display on your website, so not within Matomo, on your website, so to say on an external website, the uh, flags of the visitors coming from uh, specific countries. Okay, so the idea is really to play or to do what I call open data, so to say to uh, spread out uh, data which are in Matomo to a public website in order to show something like, hey, I have nothing to hide from you and this is the situation. This plugin has been uh, developed by uh, Stefan Gill, who is one of the main developers of uh, Matomo. And the plugin uh, works this way, so once you install it, uh, there's no much to configure. The only thing that you can configure in the back end of Matomo is the uh, refreshing threshold. So it's defined by default to uh, one hour, which is um, more than, uh, th than you need. And then uh, what you will get at the end, so you need for this to uh, have a look at uh, maybe the FAQ part, yes the FAQ part, um, because it's going to give you a link and this is the link that you need to copy and paste on your website on which you would like to uh, display the data. And you need uh, to embed this um, URL as an image. So here it's not uh, written, but you should put an HTML tag named EMG and then you need to close it here. Here you need to change by the URL of your instance. <clears throat> and over here, those are the different parameters that you need to add. Uh, this plugin does not uh, require any any token in order to work. It's it's independent, so which is uh, which is great. And uh, in fact, it's just the fact that you install this plugin that is going to release, in fact, uh, this given uh, plugin with the different data which are within it. <clears throat> As you can see by default, uh, the date range period is from the beginning of your website to. Uh, today and there are different uh, parameters, the ones that you can see over here, that you can um, customize in order to uh, display the display the plugin. Once it's done, uh, you just need to access to your website. So in my case, I did it over here, and then you copy and paste the image. And the final result is the following one. So as you can see here, since the beginning of my website creation, I got 2,000 visits coming from France. Then it was the United States, and so on and so forth. And you can like this, uh, go over here and uh, edit the, let's say, the plugin accordingly. So let's go for example for a square of 5x5. Five five. <clears throat> and I could also uh, decide to tweak a bit here the, the day. I'm not going to make it here. Uh, but now I should have 5x5. Uh, five five. Let's see, and this is exactly what, uh, what it's going to do. So as I said, uh, you may not see like this, like the greatest plugin uh, of the year. But it's really interesting because it shows all the possibility that Matomo can offer you in terms of open data, in terms of transparency about how to uh, create a feature within your Matomo in order to just disclose one information that you would like uh, to disclose to your, uh, to your visitors. So we could imagine, for example, a scenario in which you would use your Matomo in order to uh, track a connected device, like the number of entrances on the shop or something like this and then release the number of people who are currently within your shop in order to say on your website if your um, shop is currently busy or if uh, there are few people so people can come to your uh, store and so on and so forth hope you enjoy uh, this video thanks for watching